The fast and furious fallout from the president's decision to pull out of the Paris Climate Accord. The president said he was elected to represent Pittsburgh, not Paris, but overnight in Pittsburgh, City Hall lit up in green to protest Trump's move. There's plenty of praise for the president as well, and ABC's Gloria Riviera is covering it all for us from Washington this morning. Hi, Gloria. Hi there, Paula. Hi, Dan. Good morning. Within hours after the exit, the backlash has turned into action. As many say, they're just ignoring the president on this. On the other side, Trump voters, those working in energy, insisting the Paris Agreement put too much burden on business. And while leaving is like ripping off a Band-Aid, it had to happen. This is what democracy looks like. In defiance of President Trump's exit from the Paris Agreement, a growing coalition is gathering steam. Americans don't need Washington to meet our Paris commitment. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is donating $15 million of his own money, now joined by more than 100 businesses and 30 mayors, spearheading an effort to step up where the U.S. is stepping back. I was elected to represent the citizens of Pittsburgh, not Paris. Pittsburgh's mayor responding. Every major American city in the past 24 hours has decided if Washington's not going to do it, we will. The administration is defending its decision. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson emphasizing the U.S. has a good record on reducing greenhouse gases. I don't think we're going to change our ongoing efforts to reduce those emissions in the future. Despite those efforts, the administration still not able to answer a fundamental question. Yes or no, does the president believe that climate change is real and a threat to the United States? You, you know what's interesting about all the discussions we had through the last several weeks have been focused on one singular issue. Is Paris good or not for this country? Opponents of the accord call it a bad deal like the oil and drilling industry advocate we spoke to, who said the billions of dollars the Paris Agreement called for would be better spent on non-carbon energy and research. People are getting very upset of an agreement that would basically do nothing to solve climate change. He's keeping his promise that he's going to help get the coal jobs back, help people get back to work. The coal industry, of course, watching this very closely, mining, notably adding jobs recently. On the flip side, the solar industry expressing increasing concern, growing up so fast. Now, will that sector slow down? No doubt this is a very emotional issue for people with high hopes and high stakes. Dan, Paula. Gloria, thank you.